Hi, I'm Lauren. I love stories. I used to be an archaeologist insofar as you can never stop being an archaeologist, but I had a healthy respect for my knees, so I segued into writing instead. Now I'm a, a ghostwriter, a proofreader, and I'm an author, so I'm really just following my love of stories from one place to another. I live in Yorkshire now, in the UK, but I'm originally from a tiny mining town in North Staffordshire that hardly anyone has ever heard of unless they've been to the National Trust Gardens there. And I'm a massive nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I am Naveen and uh, I am from Mangalore which is a beach town, a beach city in uh, the southwest coast of India and uh, I am an engineer by education. I am a mechanical engineer studying to be an aerospace engineer. I moved to Germany for, for that purpose. I live in Aachen now which is on the border with of Netherlands and Belgium and I guess that's it. I have no real <laughs> education or any, I mean just a curiosity f- for historical facts I would say because uh, I don't uh, adhere to you know uh, to the timeline or the chronology as I just love learning or looking up facts randomly and just anything uh, uh, so uh, that happened right. in the past that's uh, that kind of uh, I, I just love uh, learning about stuff in general. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, guess I think that's, that's what we have in common. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the fact that by education we have the deep past and the deep future. Yes. We think about aerospace. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's too deep a future. No. It's kind of no, that's true. It's happening kind of now. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's now and maybe the immediate future. I, it was the deep future about mm. a decade or so ago, but now it's too yeah. close to us it's within touching distance I, I i don't know if you find this i think my brain lives about a decade ago yeah yeah Cause I, yeah because i still feel like the 70s was like 30 years ago so so two decades ago my brain lives two decades but ago sure. <laughs> we, okay let's also establish this we are both born in the 80s mm-hmm. so we are technically 90s kids because we grew yep. up in the 90s i think that's kind of a meme material the term 90s kids because we are always living in the nostalgia uh, mm-hmm. mood because we are always still look, talking about how stuff was glorious in the past and uh, <laughs> but I think that's also I think every big, generation does that <laughs> yeah that's true but uh, our generation especially when uh, it could also this this thing could also be something that was that's said by someone from our generation but mm. uh, the justification is that uh, our previous generation things were moving too not too slow but quite More rather slowly. Yeah, slowly and then the next generation everything's going happening too fast and we are someone somewhere in the middle like we saw the evolution uh, yeah. through the 90s when we saw i mean we know of the radio and you know the transmitters and uh, television the cable tv and all that but and we saw internet coming in uh, yeah smartphones and uh, we are like the gap between <laughs> the two generations yeah yeah i think mm. the older generation kind of lived it along with us but then they were our parents during this time so <laughs> did you ha- also uh, have these uh, kind of uh, what is it uh, myths uh, about uh, screen time and all that like too much you know this distance i mean it's bad <laughs> for the eyes and how um, it uh, affects brain growth and all that. Uh. No, not not really. Um, I mean, my my uncle would always tell me that you get square eyes, but considering that he he's a chemist, but he spends all of his free time on the computer, I'm like, <laughs> well, you haven't got you, you know. I was a, a, an analytical analytical kid, and I was like, you haven't got square eyes. And my mum was always like, <laughs> you're not allowed to be on there for this amount of time. She never just she just never justified it. She went. Yeah, no. but I think this was something that our parents, other uh, are, are like our earlier generation, they were they were scared of you know the technology mm. evolving too fast, and they were like, we need to protect our kids from it. But I remember like my mom would be like, oh, you you can't watch TV for this long, or you can't sit this close to the screen, and mm. uh, that's kind of true uh, because you before do get a they used to too close. you used to have those yeah cathode ray tube the CRT monitors that mm. we say. And those were like light reflecting on us, but now we have these Constantly LED screens, flashing. which is like yeah, light on the side. So it doesn't the light doesn't uh, you know reflect directly into your eyes. So mm. maybe that 
it could be true um, about the uh, harm, being harmful to the eyes and stuff like that but i generally feel like uh, our previous generation was like they are more uh, averse is the word to new technology and and they kind of uh, yeah oh, i think well th- this is one of the things that you get when you read lots of history and you read lots of and you, like we both do we bounce around lots of different parts of history because we're really interested in stories yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. is the conclusion i've come to is in about 10 years we'll be that generation of, yeah for most <laughs> of our ge- most of the people in our generation will start to become that yeah um, that's true <laughs> i think about the the 5g thing at the moment which is ludicrous uh, like if you think that 5g can hurt you i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> but um so we got the same kind of terra of 5g and if you look at when trains were first coming into being like the steam train mm-hmm. um stevenson's rocket uh people said i mean you've got classism and you've got sexism as well but they said to women you can't ride on the train mm-hmm. you can't ride on the train because your womb will fall out because you go too fast so you've got that that same and they really believed it you know you, you, <laughs> they, they believed their organs would literally fly out of their body mm. and it's only with it not happening for so long that people started to trust it which i think is what's going to happen with 5g although i mean the world seems to be full of crazy people right now and they're all talking very <laughs> loudly but i think that again that's a thing that maybe in the last certainly in britain in the last 60 years we've had an unusual amount of peace at home an unusual amount of time where there wasn't too much to be afraid of or if there was stuff to be afraid of it was far away and yeah. i think i think we've forgotten that this is what life has been for most of the human experience is this yeah. sort of oh there's a plague or oh there's a war you know it it for every generation before us they haven't had that much of a break so it's really mm. weird to us i mean maybe maybe we're getting to a point where we'll have more interludes of peace which would be lovely but we'll see <laughs> <laughs> but pe- people think in cycles and they think think people think the same way we we change we shift cultural paradigms but we think in the same way yeah so the example i love to give is vindelanda which is a roman fort on hadrian's wall um mm-hmm. which is uh it was built to divide the roman empire in britain from the picts and the scotia with reasonable success but not total success and the vindelanda the it was a fort so it, you had the soldiers accommodation but you also had their families accommodated mm-hmm. and one of the things that we found is wax tablets preserved so mm-hmm. you'd write on a wax tablet and when the wax had got really th- you'd scrape it clean and then you'd write the next message and when a wax got like right to the bottom you just chuck it out mm-hmm. or if the, the frame got broken or whatever so we found these wax tablets and the ones that really stick out to me is one of them is a shopping list one of them is a birthday party invitation mm-hmm. and one of them says how are you i really miss you but i don't miss my sister in law so <laughs> like <laughs> we we're, we're the same with the same yeah, across yeah. the world through time humans think the same because we're social animals and anti-social animals but yeah <laughs> so that's pretty much what's in store for you from this podcast just a couple of nerds telling each other stories about history trying and failing to stay on topic and explore how our cultural backgrounds have shaped the way we think because let's admit history is weird like really weird Join us every other Sunday on the TLDR History is Weird podcast by Naveen N. Bhatt and Lauren K. Nixon. Coming soon on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts or wherever else you listen to podcasts.